Welcome back to the scroll saw challenge. In this video, I'm showing you how to set up your pattern for the scroll saw. You need some very simple materials. For this part, you need a sheet of paper. It doesn't even matter if it's notebook paper. You need a ruler. You're also gonna need something to draw fillets with, radiuses, rounded corners. You can use a coin or really anything. I'm gonna use a tube of lip balm. Is that a shameless plug? I think it was. A super nice pencil, make sure it's sharp, and that's it. So remember, the piece of wood that you're gonna get is eight inches by two and a quarter. That's important when you get ready to make your pattern. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is draw that rectangle onto your sheet of paper. I recommend starting on the bottom of your sheet of paper, and the first thing you're gonna do is just line the bottom of it up with the bottom of your sheet of paper. Be super precise here because any line that comes up at an awkward angle is gonna end up transferring itself several times over. So this is the first thing you do below that line. You can shade that area out. Do the exact same thing going up the side of your paper. For that, I'm gonna rotate because it works easier for me. And again, be precise with this pattern and shade in this area as well. So if you did that accurately, you now have a square corner. We're gonna build our pattern into this area. Remember, the piece of wood that we're gonna get is eight and a half inches long. So I'm gonna measure across and I'm gonna mark that spot. Then I'm gonna slide my ruler up the paper and I'm gonna mark this in one additional spot. After that, it's time to scribe a line. And because you have two spots marked, you'll be able to get this perfectly parallel to your other end line. Go ahead and shade out this additional area. Now, just because it's easier to measure, my second dimension is two and one fourth. So I'm measuring from this corner over two and one fourth. Slide my ruler up near the top of the page. Mark that measurement again. Then go ahead and scribe yourself a line and shade out the area that will not be part of your pattern. So here's the nice thing about practicing ahead of time. I've got my rough drafts here, and this is what I made. So basically what happens is, you put these two bad boys together, and you can, wait for it, you can set your phone in it, and they hold it on a tabletop, like so. So how did I design that pattern? check out these next steps. If you look at the way that I ended up doing this in the end, I have basically this shape, and it's important to think simple geometry here and what's going on. So my first shape that I drew was just a rectangle, and I decided on four inches because that's roughly half the size of the piece that I got and allows a little wiggle room for any issues I might have. So then the first thing I did was I measured across this space and I marked four inches. And because straight lines are important to me, I marked it in two places. So that's gonna show you the basic size of my piece. Then I come in and I start to do some different things with angles. So here's what I did there. I tried to keep things really simple. So I chose some really basic measurements. I ended up going up one inch from this bottom corner and I marked that spot. Then I drew a diagonal all the way up to this top corner. Now immediately, I know that this is gonna become scrap material, so I'm shading it out. You can see how this thing is starting to take shape. The next thing I did is I got my phone out and you can see by my final product that I wanted my phone to be able to slide into it. So when I was doing this, I actually just used my phone and I set it at about the spot that I thought I would want it to. 
I wanted to be cognizant of the additional weight going backwards. So I had it go towards the front more than I did the back so that this back area could support the weight of the phone. I also wanted it at an angle so when I'm standing up at a kitchen counter or wherever that I can end up watching that while I'm doing dishes or anything else that I might be doing in the kitchen. So you can get the basic idea here. I just held my phone at an angle in a spot that I think I would look good. I wanted to make sure I left enough room underneath so my wood didn't get thin and make it super breakable. And then what I did was I basically just kind of lightly roughed in where I thought I wanted this thing to go. Hi, Penny. So you can see it's starting to take Oh, Penny. You can see it's starting to take shape here. Then, because I wanted to be a little more precise, I actually measured the thickness of my phone. Turns out, it's about a half inch. So knowing that I didn't want this slot to be excessively big, I measured across a distance of one half of an inch. And I scribed a line that distance. Actually, I went a titch larger. This is an actual pattern cutting line that I'm going to use. There's no measuring here. All I'm doing is drawing an actual solid line in the place I actually intend to cut. While I could do some geometry to try to make sure that this is perfectly parallel, I just eyeballed this one. And then like always, I like to shade in the area that is gonna become scrap material. So now it's time to pretty it up. And this is where the Jack and Dad's brand premium lip balm comes into play. I wanna add fillets to these corners. Sharp corners, not for me, and they shouldn't be for you either. So I'm gonna take the cap of this, but this is where you could use anything rounded. A coin would even work. And I'm just gonna use it to draw myself a fillet. So as you can see there, I have some more scrap material. One more fillet on the other corner, and I'm pretty close to done. One last little place to shade in. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This is my finished scroll saw pattern. In the next video, I'm gonna show you my trick for making two of these that's gonna be a big time saver and I'm actually gonna make this guy. Hope to see you in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you have, please hit like and subscribe.